So what is Confluence Software? If you're like me and you were looking for jobs in technical roles as an engineer or a technical project manager, then you might have seen several companies call it Confluence as a software they want you to have experience using. As we get into today's video, join me and the others in our community by dropping a comment down below. What software tools do you use to lead projects and collaborate with your team? Leave a comment down below so we can learn from each other and build a community right here. Also, this video is not sponsored. I am genuinely sharing my own experience having used Confluence as an engineer and as an engineering project manager. If at any point during this video that you'd like to use Confluence, I encourage you to sign up using my link down below to create your free account. So to explain what is Confluence, let me ask you one question. Have you ever wondered what software you can use to create, organize, and facilitate collaboration with all of your team's work in one location. Confluence is an online software that lets you create and facilitate collaboration with your team on anything that's related to your project in real time, 24 seven. Do you remember when you used to go to school and you would carry a thick school binder that has different folders for each subject that you're studying, like algebra, biology, chemistry, history, Confluence is kind of like your organization's virtual binder that contains these different folders for each team that's working on different projects. And inside of each folder, that's where you find all of these documents that are related to your project. So that could be your requirements documentation, project charter, meeting minutes, your roadmap, your status report, and the list goes on. When I was an engineer before, and I used to work on all these projects, I used so many software tools, Microsoft Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Visio, just to name a few. And I'd use them to create and share all of my documents. It felt like a complete mess. Whenever we had to collaborate on one document, add in all our comments and make changes in real time. Trust me when I say this, but it was a headache. Now, if you're a project manager like I am today, then you might've experienced some of the following challenges. It's hard to track and continuously update all of your project's issues in one location. It can take a lot of time to consolidate your meeting minutes, track open action items, and create high level GAN charts. And of course, to create a repository for all the documents your team is working on. Well, guess what? Confluence is one tool that can solve all these problems for you. With Confluence, you can quickly share product status reports, add comments to a document, and you don't even have to worry which document is the most latest revision. And the best part, it's all in one location inside of your Confluence website. So anyone can access it real time, regardless of where your team members are physically located. By the way, don't forget to smash that like button if you're gaining value out of today's video. Now let's talk about how Confluence works. Confluence is kind of like your organization's online Wikipedia that can store all the knowledge for your team's work. It serves as your virtual place to collaborate with each other, add comments, and create, edit, and share documents in real time. Confluence uses the following structure. You have the first tier, which is called a space. Spaces are like the folders inside of your school binder. They split up the different subjects that you're studying. Now for an organization, you have different spaces for each team and projects that you're working on. Think of a space as your virtual space for your team to organize and share their work. And then you have the second tier, which is called a page. Inside every space, you can create as many pages as you want to create the documents for your team. If you're working on a project, then you can create pages for a requirements documentation, a project roadmap, meeting minutes, brainstorming sessions, and the list goes on. But not only that, inside of each page, you can use what's called a macro to customize how you display your information. You can use action items, status indicators, information panels, and dates, just to name a few. Confluence also comes with pre-built templates to create your pages, so you don't always have to reinvent the wheel anytime you need to lead a meeting or a brainstorming session, or maybe when you need to create your own project plan. You can leverage what's already inside of Confluence to create exactly what you need, and also save more time in your 
day. Confluence is actually free for up to 10 users. So if you're looking for a tool that can help you organize your team's work, then I recommend signing up to Confluence using my link down below. So with that background, what is the best way to use Confluence to lead and facilitate collaborations with your team? Let me share with you how I personally use Confluence as a project manager. I like to create spaces for each project or team I'm managing. And inside of each space, I create different pages that are specific to that project. For example, a document that's tied to the requirements, another document tied to the Gantt chart, another document tied to meeting minutes, and of course, another one for status report. And also include other pages that our team needs to use for brainstorming and collaborating on ideas. Let's say that I'm leading a meeting with my team. Then what I'll do is I'll use the meeting minutes inside of Confluence to capture all of our key decisions and action items. I'll then use the meeting notes in a space page, which Confluence automatically creates to keep track of all open action items and key decisions from past meetings. For quick high level project roadmaps, I like to create a separate page. I'll use Confluence's macro, which is called the roadmap, to create a high level Gantt chart that are showing the high level milestones that are coming up. It's extremely easy to use and it eliminates having to update slides or Microsoft Word documents every single week. Now, the other cool thing that I like about Confluence is that I can also request my team members to insert any of their updates into the discussion board that's at the bottom of every page. Or if they like, they can also just select some text and directly add in their own comments. So for me, Confluence helps us centralize all of our documents into one location. That way, anyone can provide updates to anything that they are working on. As I've mentioned earlier, everything is literally real time and live 24 seven. So you don't have to worry about people using the oldest revision of a document. You can create individual pages for project status and you can request the people on your team to go in and update it as you need them to. So question for you, what do you think of Confluence? Join me in the comment section below and leave me a comment. Now to help you get started, I'm actually releasing my free course on how how to use Confluence for beginners, and it's being released next Sunday. So get incredibly excited because it's coming right here, and I'll see you in the next video. 